Hi, this is Dave with True Cable, and I'm here today to quickly show you uh, the most commonly found connectors for fiber optical cable. Here on this one simplex fiber, we have two different connectors. And these are both examples of older connectors, but they're still found in the field. This is called an FC connector. And the FC connector is a twist-on type, has a twist-on ferrule. In fact, F in FC connector actually stands for ferrule. And uh, it makes a positive connection. And they're old, but they're uh, still found in the field. And you'll need to be able to know what this is in case you need a, a little replacement or something of that nature. On the other end of this fiber, we have an ST connector. And uh, it's also a twist-on type. doesn't use a ferrule, but uh, twist-on with a spring. It's very similar to what's known as a BNC connector, often used in audio and video. Moving to a, a more modern type of connector, here we have an S C connector. And that stands for standard connector. And you'll often find these used in uh, data centers, but also in fiber to the home installations. Uh, most likely, if you have a single fiber coming into your home to connect your internet, uh, it's terminated with a S C connector. Uh, here's a fiber with a different kind of connector. This is called an LC connector. It stands for Lucent Connector. It was developed by Lucent. When I learned these names, they told me that it stood for Little Connector, which it doesn't, but it helped me learn it because it is pretty much the smallest. One connector that it really simplifies fiber installations. It's called the MPO or NTP connector. Uh, this connector uh, handles multiple fibers. It can uh, connect into things like uh, cassettes for breaking out into smaller uh, individual fibers. Uh, in fact, here's an example of what we call a breakout cable. It has an MPO connection on one end and it has, for the individual fibers, LC connections on the other end. So these MPT connectors are really great for backbone situations where you're connecting two switches in two regions uh, or two areas. So you can make a connection from a multi-fiber cable to multiple single fiber cables by use of the MPO connector. And this is simplifying installations of background cables, whereas before you had to pull in multi-strand cable and uh, terminate individually each single strand, um, now it's plug and play. When you get to the uh, LCs, you can use uh, something like uh, one of these LC bulkheads. This happens to be a Keystone LC bulkhead which can attach in a patch panel. It needs to be a keystone patch panel, but it snaps right in. So in this scenario, LC terminals from your uh, breakout cable, MPO breakout cable could go right into this connection. And a patch cable can be used to patch to the switch. So I hope that helps you uh, at least learn and differentiate between the different types of connectors. Uh, bottom line is we hope it helps you communicate to us and to other people in your organization about what kind of fiber connectors you need and are, in, uh, and are using. Thanks a lot. Please like us, please subscribe to us and follow us. And we really appreciate your comments. So with that, happy networking.
Well, thank you very much for watching the content. Oh, and by the way, are you considering just using any indoor cable outside? Don't do that. Please check out this video here about outdoor cable.